So, we, I've got the garden panel here, and I started stitching on it. I'm um, going to talk about, we're, we've got some silky 12 weight thread that we're selling tonight, and so I thought I'd demo um, how I use that. When I'm using the silky 12 weight, I like to do a stem or outline stitch. And so the way I do that is, look, I've already started, but you come up from the bottom, you just go over about an eighth of an inch, and then go to where you came up. And I say this is a stem or outline stitch because they're basically the same thing. One of them you hold the thread above the needle, the other one you hold your thread below the needle. I don't remember which one is which. So I always say the stem or outline stitch. And do you always hold your thread on the same way? No, because sometimes, like it depends on if I'm going around a curve that curves up, yep. I'll do it down okay. below. If I'm going around the top, I go around the top. I am taught now. Um, also, I'm going to show you a little thing that I like to do sometimes. Like if I'm going, if I'm doing this stitch, sometimes it'll want to lay over. So if I'm going around a curve like I am at the tip of this flower. Hi, Cindy. I just go in right behind where I stitched and put a little... It was just a little tack stitch so just kind of tack it in place and then that's going to hold it do. that's going to hold it and keep it from falling oh, over yeah sometimes itself. they want to kind of roll yes, in if you're going around a curve and then i'll just kind of come up oh i had it there and then my needle Let's see if i can get up a little bit more on okay. top of you here all right so then i just continue and when i do the stimmer outline stitch i tend to go from left to right that's not the only way to do it. Some people are comfortable going from right to left. You just have to find what works for you. That just works for me. So I would continue on around. But Sulky 12 weight comes on a spool. You just use one strand. And you don't have to separate it, but it's kind of equivalent to two strands of floss. So you just, kind of an easy stitch. And it's just plain neat. It, it's easy to port, there. take with you. Very, very portable. Yeah. And lots of fun to do. It's a fine line that you get when you're embroidering with the 12 weight thread. Right, so it's kind of like drawing with thread. Mm, it is, very much so. Okay, so I'm gonna stop down here. Just gonna get down here and kind of Go underneath and just kind of park the needle in there, and then I want to show you another stitch. Okay, that I want I like you to, to hold do. that up just a bit. See okay, what the... let me park that. Uh, okay. You can see the difference between where it's embroidered, right? And it's amazing. The it difference. gives it some texture. Yeah, it really makes it pop out of there. Okay, now I'm going to stitch one of these stems, but I'm going to use some floss now, and I'm going to do a back stitch. You know what it is? It's yep. a back stitch. Back stitch. So I've already got my needle loaded with that. And, you know, I said when I do the stem stitch or outline stitch, I go from left to right. Well, when I do a back stitch, I go from right to left. And it's just how it's comfortable for me. So and you're right-handed. I'm right-handed. So okay. um, I have two strands of floss on my, on my needle. And so I come up, I go over about an eighth of an inch. I go back down and I just keep going forward, but I go over about an eighth of an inch. I come up right on the line. Miss Sherilyn, we miss you, Sherilyn. Yes. There's Christy Dawson. What needle she's using? I'm going to tell about okay. that in a second. So thank you, Christy. <laughs> yep. Thanks. And that's why. Oh, so okay. So then I came up about an eighth of an inch from where my needle went down. Now I'm going to go back to where my needle went down, and go down again and go forward, an eighth of an inch past where that's up. So I, it's like two steps forward, one step back. So there's my one step back. Now I'm going two steps forward. I'm going the length of where I was, <laughs> and then I'm going another eighth of an inch. You've got another comment. You're uh -oh. not using a hoop. I am not using a hoop. I used to use a hoop all the time because that's how I was taught that you have to do it. But my hand would start aching from holding that hoop. Kind of cramps up, doesn't yes, it? Yes, and I had to stop, and I don't like to stop. So I thought, I'm going to try it. I'm to my needle. I can feel it underneath, so I hope I don't poke it in my finger. <laughs> so see, I come up. I go back a little ways. I go back one step, go forward two, and I try to be consistent on 
it really can you see right consistent it's about as far back as it i'm going forward can you do another stitch with the phone that close i'm going to try yes okay i don't want to be in your way but. i go back to where i came up go one step past where i where the thread right i guess i went back to where i went down and yes okay i like using the back stitch with floss the floss helps it fill in a little bit better. I it tried kind of fluffs up. It, it does. I've tried the back stitch with Sulky, and I don't like it as well. It's supposed to be equivalent to two strands of floss, but I think it's just a little bit thinner yeah. than two strands. And it just, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So here you can kind of see, don't get real close because that's going to look <laughs> cruddy. <laughs> it so looks pretty good. To you me. can see where, I mean, they look like they're all connected. And now, on the back of my stem stitch, it kind of looks <laughs> like it does on the front of my back stitch. And on the back of the back stitch, it kind of looks like it does. So it's, the, it's really the opposite it's stitch. The opposite, it is. Yeah. So I like doing back stitch with floss. I like doing stem or outline stitch with sulky. And I like both of them equally well. It just depends on what I'm doing. My new favorite is the back stitch, and the reason for that is you don't have to do any tacking strips when right. you're going around a corner. Because it tacks on every stitch. Yep. So see, now look at it from a distance. Don't get so close. I really am not that close. Okay, good. All right. And your so stitching always looks great. So. There are the two different types of stitch, I mean, just basic stitches. Now the needles. What I'm using is, where are my needles? What? Oh. Oh, you could just show me. For this, for floss and for sulky, I like the chenille 20, Stand it up straighter, size it's 24 chenille needles. They're Richard Hemming and Son needles. Um, they have a nice large eye. They're very sharp. Trust me, they will make you bleed if you poke yourself at them. So, uh, what? Chenille needles, size 24. Yes. I could not think of that word, <laughs> chenille. Man, I went blank. Okay. That happens so, more. And more. Um, if you have any more questions about not using, look, my thread came out of there, so I can just pull it out. Um, the thing with not using hoop, let me go back and talk about that a little bit. You want to keep, like, I'll hold the thread when I pull it to make it taut. I don't pull it tight, so it doesn't, you can see it's not bunched up there where I was stitching. It's, it's pretty flat. So if you want to try not using a hoop, I'm going to pull that out too. Um, I would suggest giving it a try and just, you know, practicing a little bit. Like I said, when I pull my thread taut, I'm holding it with this hand so I don't pucker. Can you show the tacking strip or tacking stitch again? Yes. Now that I unthreaded my needle, <laughs> I can do that again. <laughs> okay, so this will be a... See, nice large eye. Goes right in there. Don't have to use a needle threader usually with that. Okay, so I'm gonna come up here. I have to go from left to right, so I've got to turn around like this. Okay, okay. let me get where you're at. I have to find you. All right. So what I do is like this is when I, you just start. You just come up from the bottom right where you want to start. Go, I go about an eighth of an inch over, keep my thread. To you, it looks like it's below the needle. To me, from where I'm at, it's above the needle. Yeah. So I'm going to go around this little curve, and I don't want my thread to kind of lay down over that. So I'm going to take another stitch, and instead of going back down to my next stitch, I'm just going to go right beside where I came up and just make a little tacking stitch. Someone once said, well, isn't that cheating? <laughs> so when the embroidery police show up, we won't point those out. Right. <laughs> I don't know if it's cheating or not. I just like the way it, it holds the stitch holds where it, it needs and to be. I don't know if anyone would ever know if I did that, if I didn't tell them. And like when I go around a, a corner right now, I'm going to do a, a tacking stitch also. So I'll show you that. So I went to that point. I'm going to come down this side. So I'm going all the way from here over to here, but when I come up, I'm going to tack it right there. Let me make your fingers in the way. And I try to go under the thread a little. Yes, yeah, so it doesn't hang under out the, the side. stitching that I yeah. just did. 
so it really doesn't show. And see, now it made that corner nice and okay. pointy. You're making me nervous, Lisa. Um, Debbie can actually stitch in her sleep because she does it every once in a while. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Only if I'm sitting in the recliner. <laughs> Because, you know, your feet go up, your eyes close. Okay, so does that... I think okay? that answered it, Just, yeah. Okay. And see, I, th I think that looks really nice. I mean... Yeah, Brandy says not and, using hoop makes it more portable, and it does. You don't have to well, carry I mean, around that hoop, even though they're not hoops, big, bulky yeah, things. But. Right. But, um, anyway, it just it's just very relaxing. And did you see how when I was stitching, I was like holding on to the... Like when I pull it taut, I don't yeah. pull it tight. Right. You, it's not a drawstring. So if you... Right. So if you want to give it a try sometime, just pick it up, start stitching and see how it works for you. And may, maybe it'll work for you. Maybe it won't. Yeah. You'll never know unless you try. Karen says thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 